Hey, what's going on? Charlie here. I'm Gene. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Multicasting. Today we have with us a 95.5 Redemption Rye. 95% uh, rye, 5% malted barley, but this is finished in Caribbean rum casks. Um, so this is the MGP 95.5 that they're famous for, but it's finished in rum casks. Nice. Do we know the age of this? I don't think we do, do we? Oh, I think it was a non-age so. statement, right? Uh, non-age statement, this is batch two, it's 47% ABV, so 94% proof. Um, and I misspoke, this was finished in uh, plantation Caribbean rum casks. Mm. Uh, you got the nice Caribbean little label there, you got some flamingos. Nice. It is nice. It caught my eye at the liquor store. We have the Redemption, regular Redemption 95.5 somewhere around here. And you can tell this, but there's a unique note instantly on it. I'm getting um, like a, the, the little miniature pickles, like the sweet, oh. pickles, sweet pickles. Don't they have a different name other than the sweet pickles? I know they're sweet. Maybe they're just sweet pickles. I think it's just sweet pickle. I don't get that. I get a little, little spice, I guess, which I actually normally don't get. I get the spice rather than the pickle. But there's a dark note there, like a dark raspberry. Mm. It's really sweet though. There is a distinct raspberry there. Raspberries. You know what this tastes like? Raspberries. Well, when you taste them, they taste like raspberries. Normally. Raspberries smell like raspberries. The strawberries taste like strawberries. Now that you said raspberry though, I'm smelling like a, like a raspberry iced tea. Raspberry iced tea. Okay, I give you that. Raspberry iced tea. Because a lot, you know, that's a good point. Because a lot of iced tea will have that dark, dark note. Mm -hmm. This has that dark note of a raspberry iced tea. Very good call. I still don't get your pickle. They'll get a little perfume there just now. Mm. Well, is, as it's opened up, the pickles are kind of dissipating. This, I was gonna say dissipating. I was gonna finish your ah. sentence for you. That's how you know we're married. Well, in the rings. Yeah. Kids, marriage certificate, whiskey collection. There's a whole bunch of different reasons you know we're married. Right. So, I guess. If you're like, seeking. <laughs> <laughs> seeking for reasons to seek. Seeking reasons. It sounds like you have a, a ship named Reasons and it's seeking. Seeking. I don't know. Word I pictures. love them anyway. This has a beautiful nose. I, I'm a big fan of rye. Rye's, rye and bourbon are my top. Scotch, actually whiskey, Japanese, Japanese whiskey is jumping up on my list too. I'm getting a lot of the fruits, a lot of the dark notes, the iced tea you said. Uh huh. Hmm, interesting. It's really sweet though. It's like, <sighs> you ever had yucca? Yes, I have had yucca. Do so, you know what yucca is and have you had yucca? It seems like it's like just cut up limes and lemons with uh, vodka and sugar, like a lot of sugar. Explain to them what yucca is. I just said it. No, you you cut up a bunch of lemons and limes and you put it in the vodka with sugar. So you get a sun tea jar, fill it up with ice, a cup of sugar, tons of lemons, tons of limes, wrap it up in a, uh, oh, put the lid on, wrap it up in a towel and shake it for like 30 freaking minutes. And then you put it in the, you put it on the strength of it, you put it in the freezer or put it in the uh, refrigerator for a while. It's a college drink. Mm -hmm. um, it's a dangerous college drink. Uh huh. Yeah. But yes, I get the lemons and limes and the sugar from Yucca. So yeah, it's a good call. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Me too. That's unique. Heavy, heavy marjoram. Yeah? Is that right? You said it right. Heavy marjoram. Mm -hmm. Dark earthy notes again. Some barrel char. I also get caramel and uh, creamy butterfill. I get all the notes of the redemption of the normal MGP 95.5, but with the Caribbean cast, the rum finish is certainly coming through. Hmm. Mm. It's smooth, it drinks like a 47. Yeah. Not harsh at all. I can kind of get some of the rum um, notes what do I think about for rum notes? When I say rum notes. That's probably has to do with some, because whiskey comes from grain. 
All rum comes from sugar cane, so that might have something to do with the sweetness you're smelling. Okay, that must be. So, yeah, yeah the sugar cane is coming really, through. I, I, it's like I'm drinking raspberry iced tea, sweet raspberry iced tea. With kitchen spices and marjoram. And caramel, you know. And caramel. This sounds like a great iced tea. It does. Hmm. I'd buy it. This is, see, I'm a sweet tea kind of guy. I don't, very rarely, unless it's the only option. Like if you go to some meetings, you'll have your choice of, like training, you have coffee, water, and tea. That's the only options. I'll usually take water or tea. I'm not a coffee guy. But the, but the point being, I, I usually prefer sugar in my tea. I like sweet tea. I do not. I like, I don't like sweet tea. This is not sweet enough for me to be a sweet tea. Hmm. Ooh. I get some vanilla on the nose now. Drop of water, woke up the peppers a little bit, but it really brought out the, the, the rye portion and softened the sugar cane from the rum. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't get a lot of peppers in here. No, no. Um, but yeah, I am getting a little bit more rye notes. Um, the rye bread, the sage, thyme. This is perfect if you're a rye, if you're a fan of rye, and you're like, I want rye, but I want, I want something new. I want, I want to get a new note. Maybe some, maybe some raspberries, maybe some dark berries, maybe some sugar cane. How about something finished in a plantation Caribbean rum cast? Mm -hmm. yeah. Touch of leather, maybe a little bit of really? tobacco is what I'm getting on the finish. Okay. Just there on the. I back. can see this morphing to give those notes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't mind. What? Oh. I was gonna ask what we paid for it, but that comes in a little bit later. Mm hmm. Oh, I like it. Again, with my award winning calligraphy penmanship. We'll see about it. What'd you do, Gene? 89. 89, bam. Matchies. Look at us. Yet another reason how we are married. Well, we don't always agree on that. We always agree that I'm right sometimes. Uh, well, is it I think it? one time you were right. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah one time. One time. That was a good day. That was a very good Great day. Great day actually. For you. Yes. Top one days ever. I got no good jokes. <laughs> what do we pay for it? $30. Is it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's worth it. It's a, it's, you get your MGP rye, so you get the same with Redemption and Bullet. A lot of people use the MGP 95.5, but they've made it their own, finished it in that rum cast, give it those darker and earthy notes. Sweet notes. Mm -hmm. I like Pick it. up a bottle. Yeah. $30? Yeah, yeah about $30. I can't. I don't remember exactly. $27 to $31. Probably around there. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Anything to add? Jean? No. <laughs> I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. And I hope you're just as thirsty as we Boom. are. Boom. Yeah. Good sound. Whenever you're ready, dog.